Hi, welcome back to the garage. So Carter and I wanted to do a benchtop review of our Grasshopper and Hornet. We wanted to go over some of the comparisons between the two cars. And Carter here actually wanted to do a benchtop review of his Hornet, which turned out to be completely an awesome review. I'll, I'll tie that in at the end. He, he did oh, such a good job doing yes, this Yes, that was a very good job. <laughs> it, it was good. So. We just wanted to go over some of the differences between the two cars and I wanted to mention I've got the build footage from the Grasshopper build that uh, I attempted and that didn't turn out so awesome. Well, I mean it's okay, it's just not very good. So as I was building this car, um, as I completed the build, it took me about an hour and 45 minutes to put this together. I spent more time actually detailing the body and putting the decals on and, and making it kind of glossy and, and painting the driver than I did actually building the car. The car build was is really pretty straightforward and simple. When I was finishing up, I looked at the timer on the camera and it showed 46, what I thought was 46 minutes, but in fact, it was actually only 46 seconds. Once I loaded the footage, I went, oh, that's, Definitely not long enough. So we shortened it even more. Yeah. So the, the the footage from that was, yeah. I mean, I'll show it to you, but there's a lot of things that are missed during that build. So while we're doing this review, we actually thought it would be kind of fun to try that again and try a one second setting on the camera. Um, yeah, so comment below on what car you want us to build, like, Try not to do too hard of a car, like we could do a lunch box. Something inexpensive that we can try yeah. a one second setting on the time lapse on the camera. Yeah. Um, things that we don't have. We've got a frog, so let's not do another one of those. Um, another we, hornet would be good because we, my friend wants one, so. Yeah, he wants to play with him. So, you know, we could have a second hornet and then they can take him out. Um, also, we could do a, a wild one. We could do... Subaru Brat. Yep, Subaru Brat. Blitzer Beetle. Yep. Monster Beetle. Stadium Blitzer. Um, Fast Attack Vehicle. We, yep, Wild One. Yeah. There's, a, there's actually a list of cars. Holiday, did we mention a Holiday Buggy? I don't think we did, but we could definitely that's, do that. That's an easy one. And that's pretty, pretty easy. Pretty cool little car. Uh, your friend could drive that. Yeah. So try not to do a super fighter. We already have one of those. So. Yeah, he's got one of those. Yeah. Uh, I'll, we'll put a list in the dis in the in description. The description of what you can of pick. kits that yeah. you could pick, and then if if you want to see one of them built, throw your vote in the comments, and we'll we'll read through that and most votes wins. Yeah, we'll we'll build that car. So do you want to talk about some of the differences just? exterior wise uh, of the two cars well yeah sure um the tire treads are different mine is more of a street car now but it was um more of a dirt tread but his has sand pedals and also different bodies his is hard plastic and mine is lex hand and his is weighs a little bit more than mine, but also his has a smaller engine than mine, so. Yeah, so it's heavier and smaller motor. Mine's gonna be faster. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, yeah, so this car actually weighs like 45 ounces. That one weighs like 37 ounces. They're both ready to run, same battery in them. Um, the, the, the spike tires that the Hornet comes with, I think is probably, even though they don't last very long, if you're running around on the road or pavement. Uh, yeah, if you're running around on pavement, I would probably pick up a second set for dirt. Yeah, just save them for the dirt if you go to tracks or camping, something yeah. like that. Because when they turn into that, they just don't work don't that well. Don't work. Um, I, you know, for the beach, I think these would be awesome. And then I think these will hold up longer on pavement. Yes. Yeah. So uh, both cars were pretty easy to build. Now Carter, he built his car about two Christmases ago. Yeah. 
and it took you a little while as you were getting used to it. About a week because this was my first car that I've built so far, so... And you built it and masked it, painted it, did yeah. it all yourself. I only helped you with a couple of things. The huh? wheels, he helped me with that, and then the oil-filled shocks, which is another difference. Mine has oil-filled and his has... yeah. What is your shop again? Just, they're springs on plastic, yeah, real basic suspension. Um, Carter actually masked it and painted it himself. I only helped him cut out a couple of tiny spots on the body. Yeah. Showed him how to use the Lexan scissors. Uh, he was in a bit of a hurry to get it done and yeah. didn't want to mess with the driver, didn't want to mess with the lights, none of that. I just, he wanted to drive, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he just wanted to take it out and play. Yeah. Um, let's cut here and we'll show you the underneath the, the body of the two and then we're going to take them out and see who's is faster. And I'm going to win. Oh yeah. <laughs> sure. All right. Okay, here's the build. And I have slowed this down quite a bit so that you can at least have some kind of idea what's going on here. Um, in an effort to salvage what footage I, I did get out of this build. Uh, I did want to make one thing, uh, or at least mention one thing, that I said in the unboxing video that I thought there was an extra motor plate to mount a five for the standard 540 size motor. In fact, the motor plate that was included is for the 380 motor. The standard 540 will just bolt right to the gear case. So really the only thing you need to put a bigger motor in this car is a, uh, I think it's an 18 tooth 32 pitch pinion. Um, which, you know, there are several brands that sell those, Traxxas, Robinson, um, you know, probably Team Losi and others. So you don't need just a Tamiya Pinion. But yeah, overall, this was a very fun build. Uh, it was enjoyable to do, just spend a Sunday morning and build this car, put this together. Um, I just, you know, I wish that I had tried the other settings. I, I thought five seconds would be would be adequate, but there's always next time. Okay, we are zoomed in. Um, let's go ahead and, well, one of the modifications that I did, because this, this is a black edition, I changed the screws that hold the body on to black button head screws because I didn't like the, the, the look of the silver stock screw was standing out really bad. So I made that change. But this is one of the major differences between these two cars. Let's go ahead and take the bodies off. And it's a race that I'm gonna lose, I think. Done. That's not, that's not fair, son. That's really not fair. <laughs> Put it back on, do it again. Oh, Oh, okay. So that was lots of fun. Um, for that alone, I think I would never buy another grasshopper because getting access to the, you know, the underneath the body is just painful, painful on this. Well, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's definitely not as easy as that. Uh, we're both running the same battery. Tell them more about it. Let's turn these around and show them the differences in the motor. So this car comes with a 540. As you can see, quite a bit, well, it's a standard sized RC motor. 380. This one has the 380 in it. Quite a bit difference in, in motor performance. This car, he's still got the, uh, the plastic bushings, and this car's got quite a bit of use on it. Um, I'm running bearings in this car, and so we're, I'm interested to see what, how much faster yours really is going to be with that motor. Well, I can safely say at least a mile per hour faster. I would think probably. Maybe so, more. Um, what other differences are there between the two cars? 
Um, Besides that, the body set and the tires and motor. Something else that I would like to point out that there is a, another difference between the in the rear suspension on the the Hornet. The I don't know if you can see this or not, but the the pivot, the way that the axles pivot. This car is just in a fixed spot, so it will only. It's just a swing arm. It will only pivot forward. This car has slotted mounts that are much wider, and that allows the axle to do a little bit of articulation, like this. Now, I mean, that's, you know, the, the, the basic design of these Tamiya cars, that's not really going to do a huge amount for you. Uh, one of the things that we have done on Carter's car here is we have added a, a third shock in there. Now the reason for that is because of the design of these cars. Uh, you, you remember when you yeah, like stab engine, the gas, it would just jam. The engine would just like stop. Yep. And it, then it would jam it'd take up. Take a little bit to get it going, but yeah. It also was bouncing around quite a bit. So. It was, yeah, they're really bouncy. I mean, they're both really bouncy the way that they're designed. But the third shock modification on these cars really helped out a lot. Yeah, so highly recommended. Definitely. Uh, I have changed my speed controller. I did not use the stock uh, TBLE 02 brushless brushed speed control. I went with a quick run 1060. This one is waterproofed and I've actually done more waterproofing to mine. Carter, when I asked him if he wanted to waterproof his, he went, well, how long will that take? I said, well, you know, probably about an hour um, to, no. to take it apart. No, I don't want to do it. We just, I want to drive. So that was that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so his isn't waterproofed. Um, that's about all I've got to say. Should well, yeah. we, should we? Let's do it. Take it out and drag race and see who owes who ice cream. Okay, ice cream. No, donut. Oh. How about a donut? A donut? You don't like ice cream, do you? Hmm. Well, not well, as I want, much, but... I'm going to win, and I want ice cream. Oh, yeah, definitely. Sure. <laughs> so, you want a donut if you win. Yeah. All right, let's go find out. Texas donut. Okay, ready? Stage. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Tamiya Hornet, right? Hornet? 